Dr. Daniel Thomas has found a way to treat his life by incorporating a healthy dose of travel. He joins us to share how he balances his career with his adventures. Welcome to Smile, Dr. Thank you. Thomas. How are you? I'm great. Thank you, Gary. Best wishes for the new year. Same to you. First question. You're a doctor, which means you need to have a practice. How do you travel as much as you do and still maintain a practice and earn? Okay, well, <clears throat> I, should, I should point out first of all that I'm actually a, well, I'm a medical doctor by profession, right. but I've been working in the research field for the greater part of the last um, six years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so how I travel most of all is through the ability to go to like workshops and conferences abroad. And then when I go abroad, I try to intersperse that time with seeing where I am. Mm. So like say, for example, I'll, I've been to conferences in, in Scotland, in, in Japan, in, in France. And then while I'm there, I'll try and explore, explore like, you know, plan out an itinerary. Mm -hmm. And in my time <laughs> off, I'll go and see, I'll see, I'll see different places. Right. <laughs> so I've got to ask a very cheeky question. Do you search for conferences in places that you've never been? So you're like, all right, I've never <laughs> been to Madagascar. So I wonder if they can I did, get I did, me. I did that for Japan. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, no. One of my professors actually suggested that I go. Right. And she said, you know, while you're there, you, can, you know, you love to travel. You can right. go and see the place. Right. So I have her to thank for that. Good. Um, but yeah, I do. Actually, once I'm going to somewhere, I actually try and look around and see what's there to do. Mm -hmm. And I try to make my own little travel itinerary while I'm there to, to make sure the trip is not just about um, work. Yeah. Is it expensive? Because do you blow your, your, your per diem? Um, well, I try to be economical. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I find ways to save while there because, you know, you don't always have to splurge when you're abroad. Um, you, sometimes you just want to see something new. You want to travel. Right. Um, but you don't have to go go large per right. se yeah right. you mentioned scotland you, mean, you mentioned japan yeah i'm sure there are lots of other places uh, but what's the most memorable I mean, you don't necessarily have to pick one maybe two okay so i went to egypt in december of 2019 that was actually not really to work <laughs> yeah. um i went there with my sister <clears throat> and we did a 10-day um group travel excursion yeah so you know we saw the pyramids we saw the sphinx right. um cruise on the nile and that was, that was epic. <laughs> would you return? I would. Um, maybe not yet, but definitely somewhere I'd want to go back to. Um, also, you know, scuba dived in the, in the Red Sea. <laughs> yeah. And things because like that. Because it's pretty dense, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. so <laughs> how, describe no, that. No, 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 that's, that's, that's the, no, no, the Red Sea's not that dense. Is that another one you're thinking, where it floats? Yeah. No, man, that's okay. not the Red Sea. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, 